Hello everyone, and uh, today we're going to be playing as Alexander in Total Rome Remastered, Total War Rome Remastered Alexander. So, uh, let's do this. Now this, uh, the Alexander campaign, is definitely, uh, you know, it's the least talked about of the three uh, campaigns of Rome Total War, the original. In the expansions um, and uh, you know it, it's probably the one that people have played the least it's the one it's certainly the one I've played the least um, at least for the past 16 years right so um, let's do it now of course uh, in Alexander there's only one playable faction that's uh, the Kingdom of Macedon. Uh, and there are a few factions on the map. Uh, besides the Achaemenid Persians. Uh, including the Illyrians in the northwest. Uh, and some Thracians uh, to the east of Macedon and Byzantium. And uh, it's really... And you have... You do have an army under Parmenion in... Um, Asia Minor, uh, so ready to fight the Persians near Halicarnassus. But, uh, yeah, the issue is that the Persians have a stack and a half uh, right by Halicarnassus, and Parmenion just has slightly under a half stack. So, um, in fact, I think w it's going to be more prudent to uh, get Alexander take Alexander, put him in Asia Minor to start the campaign there, take Mar Parmenion back to uh, Thrace, combine his forces with uh, that uh, captain's army there, and move against uh, the uh, Byzantium here, city-state. And of course it's super important for us uh, to defeat these uh, na northern neighbors here because uh, for a couple of reasons um, but most importantly we don't want them to uh, attack Pella and take Macedon while we are uh, in Asia Minor trying to defeat the Persians right so we definitely don't want to lose Pella during that time so uh, let's try our best to fortify what we've got now we do have a little a little bit of uh, money at the start, so I want to uh, upgrade uh, Sparta to a large city. Uh, that will also help the public order issues a little bit, I believe. Um, and in Pella, I want to go for a port because the port, uh, once we take Halicarnassus and then we have a port there too, it's going to be really important to trade with Macedon and Sparta. So I like getting at least ports everywhere so we can have trade fleets going all over the place. Now Alexander, uh, yeah, he's going to move against Halicarnassus as quickly as possible. Parmenion is going to move against Byzantium. And then he'll gather his forces and will crush the Illyrians at Epidamnos because, yeah, these guys, the Illyrians, are our biggest threat at the start right there. Uh, and you know what? I want to go for um, stables. Yeah, stables in um, Pella. And actually I want to go for uh, militia barracks in Sparta because I want to be able to train and retrain as many troops as possible uh, because while we're fighting here, yes, we can use mercenaries. And in fact, I'm going to uh, recruit some mercenaries right here. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're not going to have access to retraining a lot of stuff during this. But uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Okay, let's besiege Halicarnassus. Maintain the siege. Now Halicarnassus has stone walls. Uh, so, uh, again, this is the 
campaign I've played the least of the old ones, and you know, I can't even remember the last time I fired up the original uh, Alexander campaign. So that's interesting. Okay, we got a new adoption in Pella, so that's good. All right, so we're already in the negative. Okay, so uh, these Thracians are going to attack me, Parmenion, and we're ready for them. I like this loading screen with this, um, I suppose, Achaemenid general. Perhaps it's Darius III. I don't know. Definitely supposed to, uh, you know, I think it's supposed to be Darius III. No, of course, as we go through this campaign, I'll talk... I'll talk about the Achaemenids. They are a particular specialty of mine. So let's take a look at the Alexander units. So here is uh, Parmenion with the Macedonian general's bodyguard. Alright, they look nice. Definitely you can see the variety in the faces. And in the armor here, not so much. Not for this unit in particular. The capes are all the same as well. Uh, we've got the Agrianian javelin men. We've got some hoplites. I like their shields. Where are the phalangites? Yeah, there they are. Phalangites, they have a bit of a different shield there. Looking good. And uh, allied cavalry. So these guys are actually pretty good cavalry. We also have Prodromoi, which are uh, light cavalry. Now here's the thing. I want to really preserve my cavalry here because I won't be able to retrain them uh, easily in Macedon. I don't even have stables in uh, Pella or Sparta. Okay, so we've got four units of javelinmen behind our lines. So you know what? I'm going to put these guys in the front. And uh, they are the ones that attacked. So you know, I'm also going to put Parmenion on the right. With his uh, Macedonian general's bodyguard. And I think Parmenion, with some assistance from Allied Cavalry, uh, will be able to defeat the enemy Barbarian Cavalry with little issue. Seems like the enemy is kind of redeploying their battle line here. So let's um, move our battle line just a bit. Yeah, just a little bit set up again. And uh, yeah, something I really like is that they run from the start, and then if you don't want them to run, you toggle it off. So you don't have people, like, walking slowly when you really need them to move quickly by accident. But you really have to choose that. Okay, allied cavalry, charge the enemy barbarian cap from the front, and we'll flank them with the prodromoi. Alright, there we go. Barbarian cavalry is being defeated. And they're broken. We didn't even lose one ally. Oh, oh we lost some. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. They charged in quicker than I thought. Ah, they distracted me there. Okay, Parmenion. I, saw, I was also showcasing the units. I got distracted. Okay, Parmenion. Now let's move in our infantry here. Okay, we got the enemy general. Very nice. 
Where did those swordsmen come from? Where's our cavalry on the left? Oh, that's not good. I got distracted and I lost track of my allied cav. Yeah, that's not good. Well then. Oh, leave Parmenion alone. I'm definitely not used to managing Macedonian-style armies in Rome Total War. I, I, you know, I, I always play modded um, campaigns, right? And uh, mods include different uh, animations for hoplites, so it's not a slow phalanx like this. It's uh, the the overhand uh, formation. Ah, uh, again, I forgot about Parmenion. I'm trying to explain something. Leave me alone. Okay, anyway. Why were my javelin men chasing people? That's so strange. Uh, I forgot what I was explaining. Oh yeah. So the overhand formation. So I always, uh, I never really play Macedon. I always play like Greek cities type factions, right? Okay, let's get these guys. And so I, I never have to manage these slow phalanxes. I always have a different kind of formation to manage and it's definitely faster, a little more flexible than this one. Okay, I think if my allied cavalry hit those guys from behind, everything will be okay here. We'll route the rest of them. Okay, actually, we've only lost 15% of our guys, so this battle was really not that bad. It just felt bad. Okay, so we're actually pretty okay. So who's left of the enemy? Also, because I have to record this with the game bar, with Xbox game bar, and the new minimap is at the top right here, and it's a bit smaller, uh, I can't actually see the minimap. I have to move this thing down. I can't, I can't change it. Oh boy, that also affects what I'm doing. I can't see the minimap. Parmenion, route those guys. It's probably a bad idea. Okay, there we go. Not a problem. Okay, so this actually turned out pretty well. We just lost some javelin men, mostly. And Parminion's replenishable bodyguard. So not a big de not a big deal. And there we go, we got those guys. Now let's get these guys, and that's it. We will have defeated Oh, we got pretty much all of them. Yeah, there we go. 
And uh, who was the best? Uh, our allied cavalry. Yeah, and the Prodromoi were respectable as well. So, not bad. Not bad at all. The enemy just caught me off guard because I was trying to uh, explain some things, show off some things. Didn't even give me a second. Okay, so we crushed those guys. Now let's assault Byzantium. Uh, let's build as many rams as we can. The enemy... Well, they just have Barbarian Spearmen plus the General's Bodyguard. So uh, we'll be able to... Um, hold on a minute. Okay, let's send these uh, Javelinmen and the Damaged Cavalry. Should I send them to Pella? Well, I can't do it this turn anyway. So now that Sparta is in a bit of a better situation, I want to send our hoplites. Yeah, I'm going to send our hoplites up to Pella uh, to bolster Pella's defenses. Okay, so actually that battle turned out pretty well for us. Now, what do the... Persians have here. So, defended by Valmisa. Of course, Valmisa, a very well-attested name, attested in the Behistun inscription. It's the name of, I believe, the second general of Darius, a Persian, who um, leads an army against the second wave of the Armenian revolt in the Behistun inscription column. Is it one or two? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, yeah, you can see these Persian infantrymen are very similar to the uh, Eastern infantry in the vanilla game. Now, their morale is slightly higher, if I'm not mistaken, than the uh, Eastern infantry. And these Phrygians are actually their good infantry here because uh, the Greek mercenaries are not that great. And they've got Barkanian horsemen that are okay. They are armor-piercing, so in that regard we have to be uh, careful. Now Halicarnassus has stone walls. And in fact, you know, I want to wait for... Uh, the Achaemenids have some big stacks here, so I want to wait for them to come and attack Alexander, because then we'll be able to crush a lot of them at once and kind of... I want to crush them so badly that we can just kind of waltz through the rest of uh, Asia Minor here. Okay. Now let's uh, end the turn. Okay. So we completed our port in Pella. Now we're going for stables. Uh, yeah, we're really in the red in terms of our econ economy. Uh, the Persians have not attacked Alexander. Okay, and the Illyrians have moved against us there near Pella. I'm going to pull back these hoplites just for now. So let's assault... Yeah, let's, uh, let's assault Byzantium. Uh, let's crush these defenders at Byzantium. And then um, Parmenion, with his army, will be able to move back to Pella, back to Macedon, defeat the Illyrian stack there, we'll take Epidamnos, and then we'll be able to move uh, Parmenion as well against Asia Minor. Perhaps Parmenion uh, can go north towards uh, Sinope, right, while, while Alexander moves towards uh, Kilikia. Okay, so uh, Parmenion's bodyguard has at least recovered slightly. So, you know, I don't want these guys to hold 
that one. I'm going to have hoplites. Or actually this other unit of javelinmen. I'll have them hold that ram. I'm going to have this ram break down this wall so that we kind of flank them. Okay? And uh, once we flank them, I'll move in with a whole bunch of cavalry around the flank. And uh, they should be defeated there. Okay. Let's break down the gate and the wall to the right of the gate. And then this troop will break down this wall and we'll be able to move in and flank unless the enemy defends them all those choke points with a unit of barbarian spearmen, which they could do. I could have waited another turn but I wanted to accomplish as much as I could in this first episode. So you can see the uh, Thracian barbarian spearmen in Alexander. You can definitely feel the unit variety a little bit more in units like this because... Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like... You know, it's from the mustaches, that's why. HD hut. Uh, I'm not running this at 4K, so this is HD. Full HD, I should say. Oh! My RAM! That's not very nice. I like the fire effects, though. Guys, just grab it. It's okay. Well, you know, with our javelinmen, we can actually... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna move my... Uh, some phalangites and hoplites forward. Take them out of phalanx, have them run, and then I'll set them up in phalanx formation again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess my whole flanking tactic is not going to work now. And the enemy is kind of covering up these choke points here. So, uh, javelinmen, you throw your javelins here, distract them. Okay, we broke down that other wall. You know what? Where's my other javelin? You javelin men, you guys distract those guys. And what I'm going to do here is with these javelin men, we're going to grab that ram and try breaking down either this area or this area and try to do what I wanted to do before. Okay, seems like they're moving away there. They're moving back. Okay, they're moving away. So let's get our hoplites in there, into formation. Okay, actually, they're abandoning this area, too, probably because of my javelinmen. So you know what? We don't have to break anything else. Parmenion and a couple of allied cavalry. You guys set up on the left flank here. And uh, we'll move to flank. Okay, actually, this is going quite nicely. So, Javelinman, perhaps you guys can move to the right there and keep distracting the enemy while we're setting up. Okay, pathfinding. Oh my goodness, come on. Hmm. 
Now set up to the le go to the left. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hoplites that have set up well, you support the other hoplites. Cavalry, move away from there. Okay, javelinmen, set up a little bit closer. Allied cavalry. Okay, we defeated the enemy there. We didn't actually lose that much. That wasn't that bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to sandwich them with our infantry. Move our phalangites up the right there. And we have two units of hoplites now here in the city. So we're going to set up these hoplites. Actually, we'll go for the left side. And this other unit of hoplites will set up right here. Okay, what are these barbarian spearmen trying to do? They're going for my javelinmen. Will they run away? Okay, they are routing. Good job, javelinmen. Not bad stuff. Okay, we'll close up this area here with our hoplites. Okay, javelinmen, now you guys set up over there. Better location. Okay, our hoplites are moving in. Let's speed this up a little bit now. We don't want to underestimate their general's bodyguard and get Parmenion hurt for any reason. Okay, they're going for the hoplites that didn't deploy the way I wanted exactly. But that's okay. All right, so we, uh, they attacked us from the directly from the front. So I think we'll be able to handle them quite nicely there. Keep moving those hoplites in. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to navigate through a barbarian settlement here in the remaster. Some of the issues you might face. Okay, yeah, our hoplites are doing quite well. Let's move in these javelinmen, actually, to support them. Speed this up slightly. Our hoplites, still okay. Javelinmen, support the hoplites there. Okay, there we go. Got them to rout. Okay, javelinmen just set up again. Now hoplites here set up.
All right, let's do this. Okay, now let's move in the hoplites and the javelinmen to kind of skirmish with the enemy. Okay, Parmenion, let's do a slightly risky maneuver here. Okay, the enemy Barbarian General has moved in. So, Parmenion, flank that General. As our Hoplites get their pikes down, Okay, our allied cavalry moved in for some reason, for pathfinding reasons. Okay, and Parmenion has hit them from the back. Yeah, that general is strong. That general is strong. Parmenion, get back. Leave phalanx mode, run! Move as fast as possible. Phalanx mode. Parmenion. Keep moving. Yeah, I said not to underestimate that guy. Ah, uh, Allied Cavalry, get out! Excellent formation there. Parmenion, get out. Sick of this guy. This unit of hoplites will move against their spearmen. Parmenion will lead their general outside to certain death. Okay, Allied Cav, now you're in a bit of a better position. Let's get as many of these spearmen as possible before they stop routing. Okay, and we got most of them. We might get all of them. That's good. Now get back here, Allied Cav. Where's the enemy general? Ah! I see his tactics. Okay, other cav. Move against the general. We're kind of smushing the spearmen that are in the center with our phalangites. But they have crashed into the flank now. Allied Cav, you have to support the hoplites. We can't lose too many. 
The enemy is kind of spread out. Okay, come on, guys. Quickly, quickly. Ah, this barbarian general is nasty. But I think we got him. Yep, the enemy king is done. He's finished. There we go. So that was not that easy. Not that easy at all, but... Uh, you know... Historically, it was not easy to use phalanxes, right, in settlements like that. It was difficult, it was chaotic because of civilians, because of... Um... I don't know, hilly terrain, like here. So, you know, you can kind of understand. It's not that easy to keep together your formations. Okay, so we got Byzantium. We're gonna enslave them. Good Greek courage has laid low these enemies and brought them utter destruction. Our armies have a right to be proud of their achievement. Yep. All right. So we can't repair anything. But on the bright side, um, yeah, you know, the army is not in great shape. But you know what? We can, uh, the phalangites are. So we can leave our hoplites that are especially in need of retraining. And we can take the rest of our forces. Let's uh, lower the tax rate in Byzantium, okay. And we can move against the Illyrians now. Hopefully the Scythians don't cause a problem here. Again, Artaxias is the uh, Armenian... It's the Greek version of the Armenian version of the Persian name Artaxerxes. So, no reason for a Scythian to have this name, but in any case. Well, now Parmenion is going to move against these guys in the field. It's definitely easier to face these Illyrians and Thracians in the field than it is to face them uh, in cities. That's definitely true. And Epidamnos, we've got to defeat them, or else we'll be in big trouble. So let's... Um... Okay, more Persians have arrived. Okay, more Illyrians have arrived. Okay, the Scythians have arrived. Well then. Oh, they're assaulting. Alright. Well, if that's how they want to play it, let's do this. Okay, so uh, if we set up our hoplites in a good defensive formation, we should be able to beat these guys. And we have to use our allied cavalry effectively. Wait, they don't have a ram or anything, so... Uh, they're going to have to come through the broken gate. Okay, actually, these gates are okay. The only breakthrough they've got is that wall right there. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to play this one like this. I try to avoid stuff like this, but... Uh, they deserve it. No, I wanted to control the javelin then. Okay, let's do this.
Okay, they're coming. Let's take a look at the uh, Scythians here. So this is on realistic color mode. All right. Barbarian archers. Barbarian spearmen. Yeah, looking very similar to the Thracians here. Okay. Ah, uh, they've got some archers there. They're moving in with the archers, all right. Okay. And let's take a nice look at this in slow motion. Okay, they're already done. Those guys already done. They're gonna come back. They're done. Any other ideas? Yep, they're gonna come back. They're coming back, and they're done. Okay, any other ideas? What's this? Spearman, huh? Okay, so, uh... You wanna do anything else? I'll draw them out with my javelin man. You wanna do something? Do something. Maybe I can draw them out with one unit of hoplites. I'd like to rout them and end the siege. That's for sure. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Because the AI appears to be frozen. Okay, so let's move our hoplites forward. All right. Let's move forward with this one, the one without the captain. Let's try to activate the enemy here. Move this other unit in close as well. Okay, and they are active. Okay, and they're routing. Okay, very nice. So our cavalry is gonna take down those guys now. And we'll move our hoplites into a defensive formation against the enemy spearmen there. Actually, you know what? Stay, stay right here. Stay right here. Okay, cavalry, now take down the rest of them. Very good, very good. Okay, now hoplites move a bit closer. Okay. Okay, we took down all of them. Okay, the enemy's gonna charge our hoplites. And hopefully they route soon. Yeah, they're going down. They're going down. No doubt about it. Okay, Allied Cavalry. Lance is down. There we go. Chase down the rest of them. We got the captain, very nice. 
And my own tower is shooting my calf. Oh. Well, that's okay. Nice. The hoplites are definitely a better defensive unit than they are an offensive unit. I really want to fight you, Achaemenids. Come get me. I I'm definitely better at fighting defensively with uh, a Macedonian-style army. So I hope these Achaemenids come in quickly. So I can't go after this captain here. Yeah, I can't go after him. He's behind the city. Um... It would be nice if I could attack this captain and get the enemy garrison to sally out at the same time. That would certainly be nice. Okay, let's get our fleet to the port at Pella for safety. Okay, uh, Pella is, yeah, Pella is under siege. Let's go take care of that. Okay, let's take him down. I know I have not uh, acquainted myself very well as a commander for Parmenion's army, but uh, hopefully we do better this time. Okay. Okay, set up our guys a little bit to the left. But I don't want to move anything too much. Because I don't want to get caught off guard like last time. Okay, Parmenion. Now I'm going to put you on the left as well with the other cav. And I'll have the um, one allied cav on the right just in case. Okay, so the enemy have sickle men here, these Illyrians. You can see their weapon. A uh, nice looking unit, I have to say. Okay, so we've got some hoplites here, ready to help us. I don't know why I couldn't select them both there for a second. And we've got our other general as well, so I'm going to put him into flanking formation. Alright, we're actually attacking him, so... Phalangites... Move forward there. Agrianian javelinmen stay behind the Phalangites. Allied cav on the right. Parmenion on the left. Fast forward this formation stuff. Okay, the enemy is moving into a sort of a boxy defensive formation. All right. Now. Let's move in with our infantry. Yeah, you guys hit the right as well. Javelin, you come and toss some javelins. Hoplites, you go after these sickle men. And actually, you guys go after the sickle men as well. I actually don't want to get the javelin men too close. No, I don't. And then I'll have my other general charge these archers. Okay, it's a good time. Now is a good time as any. Okay, 
Parmenian, you also move around that flank, because that's definitely the weak side of the enemy. Okay, our other general has crushed the archers already. Very nice indeed. I don't want our generals to engage the enemy spearmen at all. That's for sure. Okay, Parmenion. Set up over here. Hit the enemy warlord in a pincer attack. You're going down. Ouch. Got him. Perfect location to get him too, right? Next to his army. And we routed the sickle men. And the sickle men are dangerous because they have armor piercing, right? Okay, Parmenion, get those uh, sickle men. Okay, a much nicer battle here than the battles we've had before with Parmenion. Okay, Prodromoi, you guys help too. Get them all. All right, we did it. Okay. Well, it helps when you outnumber the enemy two to one. Okay, so we took down that army, which is good. So we have a couple of hoplites in Pella. I'll give them to Parmenion. Now let's finish off these Illyrians here. Um, if we crush this army, we'll be able to take down those rebels immediately to the west of that Illyrian army, and then we can finally move Parmenion's army to Epidamnos and uh, take the Illyrian capital. That's their only settlement, I believe. And then we can uh, move Parmenion's army, finally, to Asia Minor, where he can support Alexander. Okay. Or is the enemy? Okay. Move these guys forward a bit. Keep some of our troops on the left. They've got some barbarian cavalry on the left, one on the right. Okay, Parmenion on the right. And these javelin men, I'll put them uh, in front of our phalangites. Okay, let's set up. All right, now the enemy. Let's move Parmenion way to the right for a flanking maneuver. Okay, now our infantry. Move them forward. Yep, everything is going pretty well.
Okay, so now one at a time. No, no, I, I don't want fast forwarding. Okay. Made a tiny error there. Engage all the infantry, these guys. Move against the cav, just in case. Let's see if the enemy cav moves against our hoplites. And if they do, our cavalry is ready to stop them. Okay, the enemy archers are firing on our phalangites. Okay. Our phalangites will be able to uh, kind of act as a bullet sponge here. Move Parmenion a bit forward. Javelinman a bit forward as well, just for support. Actually, these Javelinmen I'll move to the left, just in case the enemy gets some flankage in there. Keep one cavalry here, one cavalry moving to a better position for flanking purposes. Okay, and I, I was doing that just in case the enemy decided uh, to flank with their barbarian cavalry, but they have not done so. They crushed my hoplites with their barbarian warlord. How dare you? Okay, I like cavalry move in. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we at least caused their left flank there to rout. Ah, uh, they've crushed. These are archers, right? Okay, that's not so good. Okay, allied cav. Flank those spearmen. Yeah, the enemy warlord there. Quite effective. Oh, they've got sickle men. I see how it is. And are the Sicklemen routing? Yes, they're routing. Very good. Why are they freezing? There's some strange pathfinding issue there. Yeah, that's weird. Our guys were freezing. Yeah, these Barbarian Warlords are tough as nails. Okay, we got those guys to rout. If we can get this Barbarian Cap to rout, it would be... very nice. Oh, come on! Okay, Parmenion, face down with that warlord. Get him. Ah, now they're withdrawing. We lost a lot of troops here. Not good. Oh, I had reinforcements. Okay, other general. Uh, well, too late. Wait, allied cap, don't don't engage with the spearmen.
Okay, Parmenion could not catch the Warlord. Yeah, that Warlord, he broke through our center very quickly. That was nasty. That was nasty. Okay, at least we got some guys at the end there. Okay, let's get the last of these spearmen. Well, all in all, we actually got them, but not the greatest battle I ever fought. I'm having trouble managing this Parmenion's army here, but um, yeah, the problem was our hoplite. I shouldn't have had the hoplites in the center. And I should have been quicker with my cavalry. That was definitely a problem for me. If they held for just a second longer, would have been in a much better situation. Okay, Achaemenids, I think they're going to come at me. Okay, we got a couple of hoplites ready. Okay, Parmenion's army. Not in great shape. But I think we can crush these rebels. At least. Yeah, let's crush these rebels and then that'll probably be it for this episode of the Alexander Campaign. As you can see at the start of the Alexander Campaign, uh, you've got to beat those uh, neighbor barbarians quickly because they are strong, especially uh, I've got it, I think, on hard mode. I think, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they are strong at the start. They can take Pella if you're not careful. So, you can't just go after the Persians at the start here. So, Parmenion and the Allied Cav. You move to flank. Infantry. Move forward. Yeah, these are the Greek mercenaries, sort of like phalangites. Where's their third unit? Okay, okay, let's stop the rushing here. You guys go after that unit. You guys set up here, you'll go after the third unit. And that'll be when I try to rout them with the cavalry. Okay, so this unit is distracted by our cavalry. Okay, we routed the first unit there. So go get this second unit. Parmenion, charge the mercenary infantry from the back. Okay, so now they, they got distracted by Parmenion. So they ruined their formation, and now my guys can take them out easily. Parmenion go after the routing mercenaries. Allied Cav, you can help take down these Greek mercenaries here. Okay, we got the enemy captain. Why don't they route? Route. Okay, those guys are routing. 
Okay, and those guys routed too. All in all, not so bad. We only lost three guys. Interesting terrain here. Okay, so now we have one last thing left to do with Parmenia. We've got to move him north to finally crush the Illyrians. No doubt. So Parmenion is a superior commander now. He has won all his battles, I just haven't won them as well as I've wanted to win. So you know what, let's, uh, let's do one more turn. Okay, yeah, the Persians... They're ignoring me, I don't like this. Hoplites. Parmenion, go on the road here. Hoplites, join Parmenion. Parmenion, besiege Epidamnos. Let's build siege equipment. But I think it'll be safer to starve them out. Once we take Epidamnos and... Oh, Alexander married Tyro. Okay. So once we take Halicarnassus and Epidamnos, we're going to be able to step on the gas pedal right here. Okay, you know what? Can I take these javelin men out of Sparta? Yes, I can. I'll send them to Pella. All right, now let's end the turn. Alexander's not inactive. He's besieging Helicarnassus. Okay, Epidamnos. Oh, candidate for adoption. Another Ale uh, Damasos of Naupactus. He's good. A new son adopted. Okay, sons. Actually, sons. You guys uh, leave Pella and join Parmenion. Help him defeat these guys. And then uh, only three turns for Halicarnassus. So remember, in the Alexander campaign, you only have a certain number of turns. So I've got to keep an eye on that. Ah, Scythian army in Asia Minor. Okay. Okay, what's going on? The Scythians are just hanging out with us. Okay, they've just got some Scythian spearmen. All right. Okay, so they didn't do anything. All right. Well, sorry. We've got to uh, exterminate because we need money fast. Okay, so actually, not bad. Not bad, so we can get Auxiliary Thracian Cav from Halicarnassus, and actually the Thracian Cav is going to be very useful to harass uh, the Persian troops there, especially the more mobile Persian troops. Another candidate for adoption? Oh yeah, let's adopt him. He's a social, a social drinker. Okay, the Mausoleum reduces building construction times by 20%. That's nice. All right. Okay, now our economy is a little bit better. Oh, well, only one more turn for Epidamnos. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably leave Halicarnassus with Alexander. 
Aegisthes will actually stay in Halicarnassus with some Hippospists. And I'll take my... No, I'll take the Hippospists. I'll leave a Javelinman unit. And I'll take the Cav and the Mercenaries. Okay, I'll leave one. No, I'll just leave him. Okay, and we'll leave Halicarnassus. Now let's move. Move, move against Lampsicus. Okay, this time... We might assault them. Yeah, I'll definitely assault them. They've just got some Kardakis. Some basic spearmen. A little bit better than the Persian infantry, it seems. Okay. All right, so let's end the turn and let's fight one last battle this episode. Let's finally have Parmenion crush his nemeses, the Illyrians. I think... Uh, Alexander will definitely be able to assault and take Lampsicus pretty quickly. And then I believe the next settlement is uh, Issus, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I, I haven't played this in a long time. Can't even remember the last time. Okay, drop that. Drop it. Infantry. Redeploy. Parmenion on the right. Parmenion on the right. Cavalry on the left. This cavalry on the left. The heavily damaged guys, I'll put them in the back as a reserve. Okay, so we are deployed here. Good, good, good. We're ready for the enemy's charge. Guys, spears down. Spear, spears down. Why? Okay, we'll flank him with Cav. And I think this will be great. They're down. Bye bye. Good night. Okay, those hoplites. Bit too few of them to be effective. So I'll move the rest of this infantry a little bit forward. There's two sickle men. Now there's no sickle men. Are those peasants? Yes, they are. Okay, Parmenion. The other. Oh, cavalry coming. Okay, let's be careful here. Okay, quickly set up here. Allied Cav crush those spearmen. Parmenion. Charge that Cav. Let's crush the warlord. Okay, we got those peasants. Which is nice. Okay, enemy spearmen routing. General, countercharge the barbarian cavalry. And our other general will pincer them. Okay, now we got those guys, so help Parmenion defeat this barbarian warlord. 
Okay, we got the enemy general. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Okay, you guys charge that other general. Parmenion will set up and charge that other general from the flank. Don't underestimate the warlord. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's not good at all. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, Parmenion. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. Run. 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 Okay, we routed them. Oh my goodness. Okay, our, our, our general here died, but... Well, can I do? Okay, can we route these guys quickly? Okay, not quick enough. Okay, third general. You move in because Parmenion's bodyguard is quite damaged. Yeah, you run in there. You bodyguards run in there. Do, do whatever you want to do. Come on, come on. I know, not a good maneuver for a Hellenistic general to move through a gate while his pikes are facing the other way. Okay, pikemen. Okay, what have they got? Okay, they've got some peasants in the center. Okay, we've actually done pretty well. We lost that general, but other than that, this battle has gone very nicely. Okay, Phalangites, you set up here, please. Okay, these guys are chasing after our bodyguards there, okay? Guys, just go here. Just... No, 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 no. 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 Why are you guys so confused? Just go there. Okay, now just march forward. No, no. Same format. No. Why would you do this to me? Okay. Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted. Okay, and the enemy is pincered and very nice. Very nice indeed. Not bad, not bad for everyone. Oh boy. Well, we defeated Thrace and Illyria, and uh, no Achaemenid armies in sight. 
So that's interesting. Okay, so we got Epidamnos. Exterminate. They were mean to me. By Illyria. Okay. So we've taken Illyria. Damasos was killed in battle, but he was killed in a victory. So that's good. Now, Parmenion, I'm going to take you... and uh, some of my good infantry forces okay yeah we've got we've got some troops here so parmenion and our good infantry we're going to move you back to pella that's uh, lower uh, no the tax rate's okay for now And we're going to send you to Asia Minor, to Northern Asia Minor. Where are you going to take Paphlagonia? Okay. So let's, uh, you know, one more turn here. Actually, no. Uh, we're going to end this one right here. So, general thoughts. Uh, of course... This map is, well, you know, I'll give you my general thoughts on Alexander uh, when when I release uh, the review upon release. So, uh, you know what? We're going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to do as many campaigns as I can, upload as much uh, before release, as much as I can before release, uh, during release, the week after release. Um, just to uh, get you guys some content, quality content about the remaster. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We crushed Thrace, we crushed Illyria, we took Halicarnassus. So things, things are going well. We just need some more time. We just need some more time. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for Babylon. We're gonna go for. Ekbatana, we're going to go for uh, Nisa, and then Bactria. Yep. So we've got a lot left to do. Issus is right there, so after Lampsicus, we're going to go right for Issus. And let's see what the Achaemenids have waiting for us. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.